Hey, what's up? I'm Big Loquat, and this is a historic brawl deck on Magic the Gathering Arena I've been having a lot of fun with lately. Uh, it's Joyra Ageless Innovator. Uh, Joyra reads, tap. Put two Ingenuity counters on Joyra Aegis Innovator. Then, you may put an artifact card with mana value X or less from your hand onto the battlefield, where X is the number of Ingenuity counters on Joyra. I really like Joyra and how it's different than Aether Vial. Because Aether Vial goes up by one and Joyra goes up by two. She's sort of like a weird Aether Vial for artifacts. Uh, and, and at that starting two, um, you know, you have a bunch of good stuff, you know, for ramp, arcane signet, dowsing dagger, ornithopter of paradise, bank buster's great, hearse is great, uh, steel overseer is insane if you manage to land like whirler rogue later or gets, you know, solemn out, etc. Coupled with the god pharaoh statue that we're going to be playing on like, you know, the third turn that she's out because she'll have six counters we can drop, you know, big artifacts. How we get there uh, is, you know, just like kind of mid range, like artifact dudes crystalline giant chief of the foundry we've got this uh dorky dragon guy that gives us treasures um karn has been pretty funny in the deck uh where's he at karn's been pretty funny in that we can activate him and make the magic mirror swing for nine which is pretty fun you get paradox engine going with the cheaper spells you can untap your mana rocks that you play to play even bigger stuff like uh, the meteor golem um Partic wanderers in here just as a six drop dork because like we're gonna play him for free so why not i think one of the most fun cards in the deck is probably transmogrifying wand uh, I don't know why, but I've been putting this in every deck lately, and it's just like really good, like emergency removal, or just like no, your your commander's done, like get out of here, you know. Uh, I think this card's really great to close out the games. We've got uh, Goldspan Dragon, which just helps us kind of get there, you know, with the extra ramp from the from the big treasures. Uh, you throw Ember Cleave on like pretty much anything in like the four drop and up range, and we're getting there. Combustible Gear Hulk is also a really good finisher. Um, sometimes they make the wrong decision, and with so many high drops uh, in the deck. Uh, you know, so many four drops and up, uh, the damage from Combustible Gear Hulk is usually pretty good. Um, or we draw cards. But yeah, uh, I've been having fun with it lately. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, so let's play another island. Let's play, you know, Mind Stone. So we got Tor Torolf, Torlolf, this dork. Um, let's do this. Let's play Kelpie Guide. What? Why do you? Why do you? Why? <laughs> why would they put a Chromatic Lantern in that deck? It's one color, bro. Are you okay? Um. Let's play, let's play Karn. Nice. They're discarding and drawing cards. It's very cool. Four damage to my Mind Stone. Dang, dude. Dang. Or tell Raven for him. Like, what else are we doing? We'll swing. I was really hoping to draw another, um, like, cool artifact instead of Karn. Maybe we get rid of this Karn. They can't activate that ability, which is pretty tight. So they can only cast four drops still, which that feels good, but. Defiler of Instinct. Get our Mind Stone back. I should have done that at the end of their turn, right? Oh no, I just cast her last turn. Let's just tap her so we don't forget. And then untap and tap and boundary inspector. No, is it lock it? And then is it instant? It's a sorcery. Let's go ahead and do that. Give them a bird. And then boundary inspector. Uh, plus submit zero. Cool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, yeah, it doesn't do anything. I, th I thought so. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab. Cast target instant instant spell. Oh, I don't have any instants. This is just a good five six. Let's grab our mind stone again. Yeah? 
give me the mind stone, play the mind stone, sacrifice the mind stone, and then play the boots of speed, and then pass the turn, because I got nothing else to do. We'll flash this guy in to block. End turn. 5-4 versus 5-6. Easy. Oh, no. Cool, so they'll trade. Pass to attackers. Swing at Karn, because you think he does something. Very good. You're so smart. No one's smart like you, bud. No one is smart like you. Very cool. Love that. My turn. Oh, geez. Oh, oh gosh. Sack it. Give me some cards. Hey, that guy's cool. I like that one. Let's do this one. Oh, shit. I can't. Oh, shit. I lied. Let's do Arcane Signet for free. Uh, and then, I mean, I guess throw this on this guy. And this becomes a 2 2. And we can throw this on this guy. Hmm. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to put it on this guy. And then I want to swing with this guy. Okay. Free hit. And they still are going to try and attack Karn. Which is going to be very funny. Oh no! Three damage to each opponent. You can exile this in four cards named Dragon's Approach. Oh, okay. What are they... I'm so confused as to what they are doing. Let's do Thaumaturge's Familiar. Scry one. Resculpt. Oh, that's fun. We can do that to Arcane Signet and really get going. I'll play the Dragon. Get the treasure token. And I mean, kind of like... We'll do this. That would be zero. It would die. Uh, I guess we'll do Arcane Signet again. Uh, and then we'll go next to combat. This one. This one. And sure, yeah. Kill my Arcane Signet. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, that's how cool I am. Oh no, the gold span dragon. I better do this. And see how many counters I can put on Joyra. Come at Karn. Yeah, baby. Yeah, come at Karn. That's the best thing you can do is come at Karn right now. Um, I'll kill this guy. Did you forget I had blockers? Tight. Resculpt this one. Yeah, let's turn the boots into a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Please block my commander. <laughs> I suppose I should have put the boots on the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I should have put the boots on the 4-4 four, four and not made it a 1-1. One, one. I'm just having a good time. <laughs> nice. Turns out it didn't matter. GG's. Improvised weaponry, dude? At me? Bro, how dare you? Um. Get Panharmonicon out, and then. Do we have any ETB shit? We do not. We also just bop, 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 I think. So let's go. Activate ability, Panharmonicon. 
get the legend, get the relic of legends out of the way because it's more expensive than the arcane signet. Yeah. <clears throat> sure, we'll swing for one. One, two, three. When are they gonna start playing cards? But they're gonna be brutal cards. Look at this cool turtle with an engine on his back. A laser gun engine. They played another Sarkon. If you discard a card, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. Add two mana in any combination of colors only to cast dragon spells. This guy's like all dragoned out. A lot of dragon stuff. A lot of dragons. Let's see. Mirror shield, that's nice. And protect Joyra. Here, I think we do this. I think we do Arcane Signet. I think we tap this for blue, tap this for red. We go like this and do Paradox Engine, submit. Then we do Mirror Shield, trigger, tap. God, I love Paradox Engine so fucking much. Uh, we can, it's whenever you cast a spell. So we can cheat out, so we can cast Prismari Command, deal two damage, destroy target artifact, this one and that one. Then we get to untap these two and tap them again. Then we get to do this, play Ember Cleave, attach it to Glintness Crane. Wait, what was it? Yo! <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> Paradox Engine, man, it's too good. Oh man, you got Paradox Engine like two mana rocks. You're having a good time, man. Okay, Panharmonicon, Clever Conjurer, Embercleave. Like this is pretty good. Tapping twice, getting big big deeps. Let's do it. We've got a Null, which is fun against five color jank. Yeah. Ventress Impulse. They got Kethis, the Hidden Hand. Go ahead and play Clever Conjurer. Uh, no attacks. We'll go ahead and start um, tapping Joyra next turn. this we'll activate my turn uh, I would like to scry so we are going to play the panharmonicon for free manifold key is not useful here right now unfortunately so we'll go ahead and play the panharmonicon then we'll untap joyra and then Play the Ember Cleave and put it on. I guess this guy. This guy. Uh, next, enter. <laughs> we got a 3 4 with double strike and trample. Pretty fun. Pretty gross. Firemind Vessel enters the battlefield. Add two mana different colors. No thanks. Five color jank. No way. That was a four drop artifact too. That was your whole turn. Damn. Better, better hit me for three. So I can tag you for six, bro. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm just gonna swing. No need to tap her. We don't have any artifacts to play. Oh, Amber Cleave is so good. We'll play a land. We got Panharmonicon for when something comes into play, like a Whirler Rogue or anything like that, but I think we're uh I think we're cool. Cultivate. Go get that fifth color. So next turn you can play Jota. And uh everyone gets plus X plus X where the X is the number of legendary creatures you control. Kinda cool. Kind of a neat card. I don't know if they know that it's their turn. Um, yeah, play this one. Get to scry two. That's nice. Get out of here. Get out of here. Give me something cool. Next, this guy. Take eight, I guess. Very cool. End turn. They played Joda. Want to freak him out? Nothing. So cool. Targnar! And you get another legendary permanent. So cool. So cool, they all get so huge. Oh, they're dead next turn though. They didn't get someone with reach. GG. So that's my first draft on Joyra. Um, I, I really like the new commanders that have been coming out. I'm really excited for Brothers War. Um, if you wanna see me build another commander in Historic Brawl, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching, have a great one.